Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested.com here at CES 2017, and I'm here at Dell's booth where they're showing off a bunch of interesting products. One of the most interesting, I think, is the Canvas here. Now, Sarah, you're the product manager of the Canvas. How are you doing? I'm sure it's very exciting for you to get this out in the public for people to see it and use it. Um, so what is the Canvas and how is it different than the monitors and displays or computers that you guys have also been making? Sure, so Dell Canvas is a completely new category that doesn't really exist in the marketplace today. So clearly there's a visual element to it. Uh, and then I'll open up an application so you can see that there's obviously a touch element to it as well. And then uh, a pen element, sorry, let me uh, make a selection with the pen. And there's a pen element to it as well. Um, so it is intended to lay horizontal on your desktop all the time. Today, how most users do touch and pen at the desktop is that they take a monitor, they articulate it down, they interact with it, and they pull it back up to look at it. Our whole point with this device is that we didn't want you to have to go back and forth between vertical and horizontal with the same pane of glass. We wanted to give you an additional dimension that complements your existing vertical monitor and gives you a more multi-dimensional workspace. It's not trying to be everything at once. It's not a built-in computer. It is like an additional, it's a technically a display with a touch input and pen input. An input device. An right. input device that replaces maybe where you traditionally would have a keyboard or mouse. Right even though you can have your keyboard and mouse you separately. Could. You could have a keyboard and mouse to use that with this, but first of all, they're going to be farther away because it's a 27 inch display, so it's going to take up a pretty significant amount of your desktop space. And we've invested quite a bit in making sure you don't have to use a keyboard and mouse. So we've got lots of different software elements here. For example, these fences that allow you to use touch to navigate all of your system content. Uh, I also have these things called palettes that give you keyboard shortcuts cuts that are accessible uh, with touch interactions right here on the desktop. So like I said, you could use a keyboard and mouse, but I don't want you to have to use a keyboard and mouse. Now in the design of this product, one of the considerations obviously is size, display. I know you're choosing a matte display here. Yes. Um, can you tell me a little about the resolution and what type of maybe input pen technology sure, you're using? Sure, absolutely. So uh, it's a 27 inch display as I mentioned. It's what's known as QHD resolution. So it's a good quality display but it's not so good that it's going to eat up all of your graphics bandwidth. And we wanted to do that on purpose because we want you to pair it with another monitor. So we don't want this device to consume all of the graphics coming out of your PC. Uh, so we want you to have this and some sort of a vertical monitor. It happens to look great with our curved monitors, so that's how we're showing it here. Um, and then beyond just the display technology, so it is coated, it is an anti-glare coating. It's chemically etched, excuse me, so that over time, there's no film that will wear out as a result of you working on it. So the pen is a Wacom pen, so it's going to be very familiar to users who may have a Wacom Cintiq. It's not um, <clears throat> the exact same experience, but it's very similar to a Cintiq pen. Now you mentioned Cintiq, and that's also a similar product. It's a, a large screen that works as a display and an input. So what is the canvas, what is it doing a little differently? Right. So there's physical elements that are different and then there are definitely software elements that are different. We've engineered our device to lay flat sort of all of the time. So you can see it's very thin. It has a built-in kickstand. And when I articulate it down, you can see that it gets very flat on the screen. And then I can pull it back up here. So the intent of it is for it to be horizontal all the time. Most people who use a Cintiq have it vertical most of the time and use it as a display. And then they articulate it down when they need to draw on it and then pull it back up. Our interest with this was not for that sort of uh, disruptive type of an interaction that where you have to go vertical, then horizontal, then back up. We wanted this to be horizontal all the time and to give users the ability to take advantage of touch and pen beyond um, limited use cases such as drawing. It's a great fit for drawing, but you could also take advantage of uh, pen-based interactions if you want to take notes. So for example, I'm going to ink here right within this application. It's going to translate my handwriting into text. So how, many, how many degrees of pressure sensitivity um, do you have? And um, so it has 2,048 levels of pressure sensitivity, which is quite a lot. Uh, so again, it's going to be very familiar to users who have uh, one of the Cintiq devices. Um, 
So great pen experience, but the user can use the pen and touch beyond sort of their drawing applications or things like that. They can use pen across really any application that supports pen-based input. For example, I could I could um, write directly into an email and ha or doodle in an email and send that off as an idea as well. And in terms of interaction with the computer, you also are tapping into Microsoft's Dial API, so you have an accessory that has the rotary controls. So yes, we ship our device with what we call a totem. Microsoft calls theirs a surface dial. Very similar functionality here. I place it down on the surface. Ours has to be used on the surface. It cannot be used off screen. So our the whole idea with ours is that we wanted to put menus at the user's fingertips where they're focused. The reason we wanted to do that is because uh, especially digital content creators tell, told us that if they have to make uh, menu uh, changes while they're in the process of content creation, that's a very disruptive process to them. So what, we, what, what they would have to do is they'd say sort of draw a line, then stop, then go make a change, and then come back. And that uh, disrupts their creative process. <coughs> And there's a lot of wasted time in that travel back and forth. And so what this does is it puts menus at their fingertips so that the user can navigate or can access those menus right where the action is taking place. So for example, I'm able to change the color of the, the line as I'm drawing the line or to make some changes very close uh, where I'm focused uh, so that I don't have to stop what I'm doing, go over here, make a change, and come back. I, we, we think it's going to have a pretty profound, excuse me, pretty profound impact on uh, users' productivity. Well, thank you so much, Sarah, for sharing with me the canvas. When is this going to be available and how much is it going to cost? So we'll start taking orders in March and we'll start shipping in April. Our target price point is around $17.99 US. Great, thank you so much.